The inaugural uh, day of trading for spot Bitcoin ETFs on Wall Street was marked as significant activity, with Grayscale leading the way by recording over $4 billion in trading companies. By grading 15 pound bank services, 5 million market is a reason about U.S. debt, which is so much of the private final red due, and is a seven point. Almost a dozen Bitcoin ETF funds, including those from major investment players, such as BlackRock Inc. and Fidelity Investments, had an impressive debut with a flurry of activity, resulting in approximately $4.6 billion worth of shares traded on the first day. Advocates within the industry view these ETFs as a pivotal launching pad for wider adoption by everyday the investors and anticipate them serving as a catalyst for further market gains. And Bloomberg's ETF strategist Eric Balchunas reported that a total of 700 thousand individual trades were executed today involving the 11 spot ETFs. To provide context, this figure is twice the number of trades observed for QQQ, although the latter experiences more substantial dollar volume due to larger institutional involvement. Balchin has noted that the increased grassroots action, as opposed to significant seed purchases, exceeded his expectations and is viewed positively. Uh, all told, there were 700,000 individual trades today in and out of the uh, 11 spot ETFs. For context, that is double uh, the number of trades for QQQ. Uh, it sees much bigger volume. BC Bigger Fish use it so um, a lot more brass roots action than I expected, which is anywhere that uh, Eric Balchun is January 11th, 2024. And then it was nine month content to no purpose in Turkey place seeds on the founder of the Indian building officer of the officials and government of the creator service is actually again. Thursday's ETF launch has witnessed notable milestones including record breaking activity with the Grayscale Bitcoin Trust achieving the largest ever first day turnover for an ETF reaching $2.3 billion. It's worth noting Grayscale's product with the trust structure since 2013 had a substantial head start with nearly $27 billion in assets. After uh, furthermore, even newly launched ETFs, not converted from existing funds, experienced historic trading volumes. BlackRock's iShares Bitcoin Trust, denoted as IBIT, recorded 1 billion trading hands, marking the fifth largest ETF launch on record. However, it's crucial to acknowledge that trading volume alone doesn't provide a comprehensive overview of the buying or selling nature of investor inflows. And the long-term success of the ETFs hinges on investors' seamless accessibility, which remains a current challenge. Vanguard Group Inc., as brokerage arm, has opted not to facilitate trading for these ETFs. And Merrill Edge, operated by Bank of America Corp., is still evaluating its stance on offering this service. In contrast, some platforms are more enthusiastic about embracing these new investment products. Out of our Inc. CEO, Vlad Tadov expressed intentions to list the funds on their platform as quickly as possible. And finally, so great perfective stated code hedges because coming back to the serious levels of Carvus recognizing terms without a big ways with the account to be on Facebook. Fee competition common in the $8 trillion ETF arena intensified even before the launch of SPAC Bitcoin ETFs. Notably, issuers like BlackRock, ARK Investor Management, and Invesco preemptively reduced their costs leading up to the regulatory approval on Wednesday. The simultaneous launch of all these products on the same day, eliminating potential first mover advantages, contributed to an intensified services raised to the bottom on fees. To stand out, several firms resorted to fee waivers, offering their ETFs for free, during the initial six or 12 months. Um, the Bitcoin price continues to flirt around $46,000 uh, as it loses the early week momentum.